The England level controller product family consists of a fully integrated level detector, a duplex pump controller, flow monitoring subsystem, and a network support interface providing a very low cost, fully functional level control subsystem. The family consists of a APB controller that has been pre-programmed with the LC uh, control software, an optional PC-based application program that provides remote monitoring and configuration capabilities, and uh, two mechanisms to interface, uh, either a low-cost direct USB to APB connector cable or through a standard Modbus interface to the LCA controller. Based on the APB controller, uh, we have provided a modular hardware and firmware platform allowing us to uh, build systems uh, specific to customer requirements. The integrated HMI display provides us with a standalone capability for both configuration and monitoring of the system. A Modbus interface allows us to network multiple units together and also provides remote monitoring and configuration from a PC-based platform. The controller itself supports extensive arithmetic and processing capabilities, allowing us to pack a lot of features into a very small space. And since it comes fully programmed, there's no user programming required. Uh, the PC configuration software is fully optional and comes with no additional cost. The controller itself consists of 16 digital or analog inputs, an integrated HMI display allowing monitoring and configuration, and then eight digital outputs. A level controller consists of several uh, key components. There's a mechanism to detect a level. There's a duplex pump controller. A, the pump controller itself looks at the health of the pump to ensure that it's capable of running. And then once activated, it monitors the uh, runtime uh, characteristics of the pump to ensure that it stays within specification. Flow monitoring is provided by uh, looking at the rate of change in level, coupling that with the tank dimensions to allow calculating the flow volume, uh, and flow volume is then mapped to uh, inflow and outflow, uh, providing a, an efficient way to monitor pump uh, activity. The bubbler controller provides a low-cost um, control of a bubbler system that uh, gives us a, an integrated level monitoring tied back to the level detection. Modbus uh, interface provides a mechanism to remotely connect to the device and also provides support for the PC-based applications. Then finally, the integrated HMI allows the entire controller to run in a standalone basis. Level detection, we provide support for both analog and digital sensors. Analog signals can provide a 0 to 10 volt or 4 to 20 milliamp input. This provides support for a wide range of ultrasonic, submersible, pressure, radar, uh, virtually any type of uh, level detection uh, mechanism that the user requires. We provide both hysteresis and time filtering of all signals to ensure, ensure that the signal is uh, as noise and immune as possible. We also supply support for both positive and negative displacement, meaning that a change in level can generate either an increasing or decreasing uh, analog signal. And uh, this can become very critical in some forms of ultrasonic detection. The uh, digital input options include uh, float switches, which can either be normally open or normally closed dry contacts. We also support conductive probe, which is really a analog signal that is monitored, internally converted, and then used to drive the, the dry contact input subsystem. We support six different levels, a zero lockout level, 
ensures that pumps, uh, submersible pumps in particular, do not run into a dry condition. Uh, it prevents the pumps from being manually pumped down below a preset level. The off level determines when the pumps get turned off. The low level determines when the lead pump is turned on. The mid level turns on the lag pump. High level will generate an alarm condition. Then the purge is used to detect either a sensor fault, an open or short condition, and also to purge the uh, bubbler line in bubbler-based systems. The duplex pump controller provides support for both alternating and fixed lead lag pump sequencing. We also provide a time of day clock so that uh, alternate sequencing can be generated based on the time of day. The pump health subsystem ensures that the pump is capable of running and then the pump runtime verification ensures that the pump is operating within specifications. If a failure is detected within a pump, the uh, pumps will automatically switch over to ensure that there is a continuous uh, pumping capability. Pump health monitoring consists of seal leak detection. Uh, we provide two levels of support. A warning level, if a seal is failing, this will put a pump into a demoted uh, state where it does not act as the lead pump, but is still available as a lag pump. Then there's an error level where um, it's considered catastrophic and the pump is taken offline. Pump temperature monitoring, uh, the contact can either be normally open or normally closed and it's time filtered to ensure that no noise signals um, are introduced. Pump run verification, uh, we look at the auxiliary contact closure. That first of all ensures that the motor contact block has been activated. Uh, then if it opens while the pump is running, it would indicate a thermal overload condition. Uh, pump current is monitored, and both the minimum and maximum levels can be set as uh, uh, trip points. <coughs> Excuse me. And finally, the phase error contact allows us to uh, apply an, an external phase monitoring relay. And again, it's either a normally open or normally closed contact. Flow monitoring, we look at the change in level over time, couple that with the tank dimensions, and that will allow us to calculate flow volume. The volume can be expressed in gallons, imperial gallons, or liters, and the dimensions can be entered in either inches, feet, or meters. The flow monitoring allows us to monitor both the inflow rate and the outflow rate based on the pump uh, operation, and that provides a very uh, efficient way to monitor the pump efficiency to ensure that uh, pumps are uh, taken offline when they become uh, unusable. The bubbler system, uh, we support a dual uh, bubbler pump uh, system. Uh, a timed operation is provided where we can reduce the air usage by only activating the bubbler system when a sample is actually taken. Uh, we support systems with, with or without reserve tanks, uh, again lowering the overall system cost. And we provide automatic purging if the bubbler system line is determined to be blocked. The integrated HMI provides on-screen display of the system status and the pump status. It allows very fast pinpointing of failures by indicating which pump has failed and why it has failed. It also provides full field configuration support so that a system can be reconfigured in the field without uh, any external PCs or other programming tools. Finally, it provides a runtime display of all the operating statistics such as flow rates, pump operation, uh, operating currents, etc. The Modbus interface runs on a standard 9600 baud. It supports either 232 or 485 serial communications. It provides full access to all the parameters, allowing remote programming of the device. It also provides full access to all the runtime statistics to allow remote monitoring. The entire LC controller is supported with a optional software package referred to as LC config. 
LC Config runs on a Windows platform. It provides parameter configuration, monitoring, a simulator mode, and project management. It will operate over a standard Modbus uh, communication channel, or it can be used uh, with a low-cost direct APB controller to USB adapter cable. The Modbus uh, adapter supports 232-45 and plugs directly into the LC controller. The uh, USB cable plugs directly into the controller into a PC USB port. Operating on Windows, uh, the uh, LC config also supports a offline mode. This allows a, um, the package to uh, configure all the operating parameters without actually connecting up a hardware device. Uh, so the systems can be pre-configured pre and defined offline and then connected to remote devices in the field. All the configuration files are saved both on the device and in the local files and there's a synchronizing, synchronizing method used to ensure that these files stay in sync so that when a uh, unit is connected in the field, the most up-to-date application file is, is used. A print report uh, capability allows all the configuration summary information to be printed out in hard copy form for documentation control. The configuration screens uh, allow each of the subsystems of the controller to be uh, initialized. All the parameters are represented using standard engineering units. This eliminates any mental arithmetic or magic conversions. Uh, you enter feet or inches, and that's what the unit will accept. The screens are also supported with an online help description to help walk through a typical configuration. Uh, this is, shows how you would go about setting up the units and dimensions uh, parameters. Again, we specified in standard engineering units, in this case U.S. gallons. Uh, the sampling time uh, flow rate information will be done on a per second basis. Uh, the tank dimensions are specified in feet and the help screen provides a walkthrough to allow you to quickly set up a new system. The monitoring subsystem uh, monitors all the internal registers of the controller and provides a graphic display of the overall operation. It's very modular. Each subsystem is represented using a graphic control panel and the, uh, the, uh, there's control provided over which panels are updated and uh, the entire package runs over a standard Modbus. This shows the typical setup where we're looking at the overall system uh, panel, the system control, the level control, the flow monitoring, the two pumps used for the duplex controller, and the two pumps used for the bubbler system. Uh, the overall update of the screens are controlled by the update control package, and if you like, you can go in and monitor the actual Modbus traffic. LC config also provides a simulation support. The simulator remaps the inputs of the LC controller uh, to provide simulated values and monitors the output of the LC controller to determine whether virtual pumps should be ap uh, activated. It is important to stress that there is no control done by the simulator. It's simply uh, drive signals to the remote controller. So the actual control algorithm is done by the controller that eliminates any artificial differences between real world and simulated results. Uh, this shows a simulator screen. There's a virtual tank which um, has a constant inflow provided uh, by the simulator. Virtual tank uses the parameters of the dimensions and sensor to calculate an effective sensor voltage. That sensor voltage is applied to the controller, and the controller will then activate pumps as required. When the pump outputs are turned on, 
These uh, simulated vertical pumps are activated. That provides a constant flow rate, which is ramped up or ramped down uh, during the turn on and turn off cycles. And the auxiliary contacts and current, etc., can be forced to, uh, to known values. Project management allows us to define what hardware was installed on a particular system, when the system was installed, where it was installed, and who did the installation. This is all tracked with a revision numbering system that allows uh, full management of the system and uh, is very useful in field installations to determine exactly what system was installed and the history of the system. The configuration information is saved in a, a Windows-based file. Uh, the installation site and installers is monitored or uh, managed. Uh, and each of the hardware components has its own uh, serial number and installation date information uh, included. All this information is contained in both the file and on the actual LC controller itself. So in summary, the LC family provides a level detection subsystem, pump monitoring and control, uh, integrated flow monitoring with the option of adding a bubbler subsystem to it. Uh, the entire controller is supported through a Windows-based configuration and monitoring tool and providing a very low cost solution for uh, pump station control. I encourage you to look at the further information on the ingramproducts.com website. And again, thank you very much.